Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Colt. And today you guys are going to be doing an interactive question and answer with a super fun interactive Q&A menti quiz. So what you're going to want to do, um, if you don't have another device, you can open another tab in your browser and go to www.menti.com. We will give you plenty of time, no rush. Uh, we are kind of monitoring it, I think. Um, and then when you get to that page, you will have to put in the PIN. The PIN is 47337571. So we will give you guys time. Um, this is not just over last week's lab, it is over the past three. So if you've been paying attention to all the videos and our lives, you should do pretty well in this. Yeah, so like Lauren said, to find your little tab, if you are on a computer, it looks like a little cross up in the top of your screen. And then if you are on a, a phone, a tablet, it looks like a little cross. It's most likely in the center of your screen. Mm -hmm. So again, we are going to give you guys plenty of time to get onto www.menti.com and enter the game pin 4733. Seven five seven one. This will be really fun. Uh, there is a leaderboard, so eventually you will have to put your name in so we can keep track of who is in first and such and such. And you guys will get the chance to win a really cool prize. We have been keeping track of everyone who's been posting at Flipgrid, and it's just another chance for you to win a prize. So, yeah, yeah. it should be super fun. So, we are going to switch screens here and you guys are going to see Menti pop up. Um, this is just for our end really quick and then we're going to hit present and you might be able to see the leaderboard back on the backboard. If you can't, that's totally fine as well. You should still be able to read the questions that are on your quiz. So I'm going to switch through and Lauren's going to kind of explain a little bit about how Menti works. So what's going to happen is we have two questions that are not quiz related. There's no leaderboard. The first one is a word cloud. So you will be able to type in three different options to answer. There were at least four plants that were replanted. The second question is just a multiple choice and it should turn into like a bar graph. Um, and then after that, you will be able to hopefully type in your name. Please do your first name, first full name, and the first initial of your last name so we can keep track of someone to give a prize. Yeah, so for example, when we get to that quiz part, my name is Cole Miller, so it will be Cole and then M. So Cole space M. That way we can keep track of who wins a prize. So one plant that Amy replanted were, was yes, a tomato seed as well as a sunflower. So a tomato and sunflower were replanted. There was also a radish seed and lettuce. You guys should have done the same thing. All right. Yep, yep. go for it. Okay, so what animal did I make on Tuesday's live session? It should have been with Braylon and uh, Aaron, our colleague here, who is behind the camera today. Yeah, so if you think about it, it was the animal that Lauren would have made because we were talking about this animal and the way that physics works with it with potential and kinetic energy. Yes. We will give you guys some time to think about this question. We will slow down just in case people are still getting logged in to who might have gone a little too fast. But we're still learning just like everyone else. Yeah, and there's also at the very top, you can see it talks about going to www.menti.com and using the code 
4733-7571 on our screen as well. So we kind of went ahead and started just because we knew that there were some people waiting that were already logged in. So it is totally fine. If you did not have the chance, you'll still have a chance to answer the questions. If you can't log in and it's too late, but you are still listening to the questions as we say them, you can also uh, answer in Flipgrid. We will pay attention to those because that could have been our fault if we've gone too fast. So if you can't participate, please answer in Flipgrid. Okay. And as you can see, frog. Yes, I did make a frog. All right, so now you would have the chance to type in your name, and this will start the quiz. It looks like we got a cat up there right now. Okay. And remember, it's your first name with the first letter of your last name. So again, mine would be Cole M. And mine would be Lauren F. All right, I think, oh, got two players now. We'll give it a little bit more time to see if people are catching up. Yeah, so Lauren, what have you thought about Lavender Bags so far? Do you love all the labs? I love them all. They're both all so unique in their own ways. Uh, what about you? I've loved them all. Um, yeah. I think they've all been super fun, and we're super grateful for all of our sponsors. Yes. Um, Welch Packaging, Barletta Boats, and the Rex and Alice A. Martin Foundation. All of them have and been amazing. And Nibco. Yep. Yes. They've all been amazing sponsors, helping us out, and making sure that you guys get to enjoy the kids just as much as Lauren and I do. Give you maybe one more minute. And while we wait, I'm going to go and grab our bucket of jokes. Yes. So we have time for those. We all love jokes here. I used them uh, at home, and they sure did make my family laugh. So. And you might hear some of the same jokes, but that's okay. Lauren, do you want to pick the first one out? Did you hear about the germ? No, I didn't. What about the germ? Never mind. I don't want to spread it around. Ah, that's a good one. And yeah. that one will go with week four, the week that just started, Beat the Bugs. You should hear some of those jokes coming up uh, in the next couple days. Yes. Yes, we will be talking, doing some more jokes. We sure will. Okay, we are going to continue. So, the first question is who sponsored the Physics of Origami Lab? That was week three. We did do a out and about video with this sponsor. So, yes, it was Welch Packaging. Thank you, Welch Packaging. We really appreciate your sponsorship. All right, next question. Oh, here's our leaderboard. Ooh, Aaron is in the lead with one point. Tina, you are very close. Okay. All right, question two. What was filled with air to make the boat move? This was week two, sponsored by Barletta Boats. There is some trick questions in there, trick answers, I should say, in there, so make sure you're choosing wisely. Yes, the correct answer is balloon. Remember, it was a balloon boat. So yes, air did travel through the straw, but the air was all trapped inside that balloon, which ultimately helped power and move your boat. And that was sponsored by Barletta. So thank you, Barletta. Question, oh. So. Oh, Tina, she took first place. Great. Question three. Cole went down what to show potential and kinetic energy? There was a few things that uh, he did. Um, this is a type in your answer, so think about it carefully. You have 35 seconds to answer. And this is one that it, we're looking for one singular word. One word. That should help you out a little bit. The 
answer is slide. Correct. Good job. Okay. This is a really close race right here. Man. All right, Tina stays in the lead. Question four. Plants need oxygen, water, and what else to germinate? We noticed that some of you were saying things that were right once your plants were replanted, but what do they need to germinate? This was week one, we talked about this, and garden in a glove. It is kind of a trick question. There is a, an answer that some of you did like to say, but it is not correct. And if someone does guess that, we can explain why. There is also a Q&A at the end of the quiz, so if you have questions, you'll be able to type them in, and Cole and I will be able to answer those. And if Lauren and I don't have the answer right off the top of our head, we will come up with that answer, and we will send you guys a personal video in Flipgrid, or somebody on the Lab in a Bag team will. That way, everyone will know for sure what that answer was. Yes, this is right. So plants need oxygen, water, and the right temperature to germinate. Sunlight is not something that plants need to germinate. Now, plants do need sunlight as soon as they have germinated. So as soon as they've begun to sprout, that is when plants need sunlight. So when you wrapped your seed and the cotton ball, they did not necessarily need sunlight. But as soon as you saw two little leaflets, that is when they needed the sunlight. All right, moving on. This is the last question of the quiz. Uh, Tina, looks like she didn't answer in time. It's all right, it happens. Okay. The last question is, which culture is origami often associated with? So another way of wording this question is, what culture would you, or which culture did origami originate from? Mm -hmm. Yes. Think about it really carefully. It should have been answered in our live and our videos with uh, Eric. Eric from, from Wellfield. Yes. Eric knows a lot of information, so if you guys have time and want to visit Wellfield Botanic Gardens, they have some super cool origami sculptures, which will also tell you where origami is often found and originated from. So, again, Wellfield is a great place. They also have a children's garden where you can taste different fruits. Well, looks like no one answered. That's all right. We will still continue. But yes, origami is often associated with Japanese culture. So congratulations, Aaron, for winning our super fun interactive mentee quiz. We are not done though. We do have a Q&A, so you can type at the top um, to ask a question. I don't think there's a limit of questions you can ask, so we will sit here and wait to see if anything comes in. So while we are waiting, we are going to have time for a joke. And if you guys think of any jokes, send them to us on Flipgrid and we will gladly add them to our super awesome joke bucket. Yes. Where we will, maybe your joke will be able to be featured. Lauren, why did the lightning bug get bad grades in school? I have no idea why. He wasn't very bright. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. <laughs> but we all know all of you are super smart cookies. Yes. Not like the lightning bug. No, you guys are all very bright. You sure are. All right, I don't see any questions from our audience. So if you do end up having questions, feel free to ask them in Flipgrid. Um, Cole, anything else? Yeah, just remember to keep posting in Flipgrid, um, our Lab in a Bag team here. We really love watching all of your videos, and you guys have chances to win some awesome prizes. If you interact all six weeks on Flipgrid, you guys will be entered into a chance to win super awesome lab coats like what Lauren and I have, and we can even set up a time where we can do a meet and greet and some pretty cool pictures. Yes. So, I think it'd be great. I know I would want to win a lab coat. I was super excited when I got mine, so hopefully we can see a lot of interaction like we have been in Flipgrid. And I know Cole and I would be very excited to meet some of you. We love, like he said, we love watching your videos in Flipgrid. They, 
they brighten my day. I'm sure they brighten Cole's and the rest of our crew. Uh, so yeah, keep posting, keep decorating the labs, keep asking fun questions. We really appreciate it and we love that you guys are having fun. Yeah, so make sure you guys tune in where later this week where you guys will be able to see some experiments with Lauren and I talking